hi welcome or welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by and tuning in and welcome to today's video right now i am sitting on the side of the road i just got finished working i got done a little early as usual i guess this will be an unexpected life update video and an unexpected day going to the beach i just got finished work a little early as i've said and i realized i'm near the beach so you know i've been working really hard so i've been trying to figure my life out you know here back in the u.s and you know it's not easy but anyways i'm going to the beach so i'll talk to you guys then so i'm sitting here in leggings and socks and sandals what 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 a t-shirt and this little satin cap so you can see i'm not prepared for the beach but you know what i do have some bathing suits in here some i haven't worn there for a special occasion coming up but i really don't get in the water like that i just like to put my feet in there and i'm not sure how clean the water is i haven't been here in years and you know i had some lunch meat and cheese but i ate that you know while i was working i didn't bring enough you know to go to the beach i didn't know like i said this is unexpected so i might stop and get some food at a gas station i already went to a gas station but i forgot to get food so yeah let's go see if i can find some food real quick and then go to the beach they probably are going to charge me so luckily i have some cash on me from some tips that i had got so yeah let's see how this day goes so i'm sitting at a red light and i'm wondering if there's a walmart nearby i could use a throw blanket to sit down on so yeah let's see and then the food will be a lot more cheaper but the light is green so let me get off of here backtracking to go to wawa's get these what else i think i'll just get me like a little hoagie sandwich i already got some cheetos in the car i got some brownies i want me a cup of ice what else did i need oh a sandwich they might be up front oh that looks refreshing but i'll need some ice for my water I don't even want any soda. I don't know what to get. Let me get out this store. I feel like you were in Walmart picking up stuff you did not come in here for. And let's see where the hoagies are. Some fruit is always good on the beach. So I'm in the van and I got all my stuff that I want from Wawa's. I need to hurry up before the beach closed. So I dug in my luggage from El Salvador and I have something more comfortable to slip into, more suitable for the hot weather. So yeah, let me hurry up and change clothes real quick and get to the beach before they close. I haven't been here in years, so I don't know how much it costs. Let me see if we can get in. I hope it's open. I got all of these snacks and changed my clothes and got excited to come here. Oh, it says the park closes at 7.45. Online it says they close at 4. Let me see. Is he trying to back up or what? It looks like everybody's trying to back up. Are they closed? Well, people are coming out, so I don't know. Maybe nobody's at the gate. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not lunchtime and they are not at the gate. I'll see you guys when I get in, I guess. Oh, I see somebody up there. I'm so excited. I got cash on me. I normally don't have cash, but like I said, I had cash from tips that people gave me. As well as when me and my friend took a trip, she gave me gas money. And I used my card and kept the cash. So, yeah. I should have used the cash to get my stuff at Wawa's. But I be feeling like I need to save my cash for emergencies. Oh, you can use a card too. Wow. I wonder how much it costs. I'm about to find out. So excited. <laughs> I need some time to relax. I was actually supposed to go and do, you know, a few more hours at another little job, side gig. But I've been working every day since I don't know how long. Just to make sure I have enough. I'm trying to do a lot. I'll talk to you guys about it later. I'm in, you guys. I didn't even use my cash because it wouldn't. Yo, the police came zooming by me with their lights on. I saw my light flash before my eyes. I'm like, what did I do? But luckily they wasn't coming for me. My tags is expired. I've been trying to get everything done on this freaking van to get it to pass inspection. I think I've made up my mind to do some things, but I'll talk to you guys about it soon. I'm so excited. I'm out here. I can't believe it. This was not in the plans at all today. 
I was supposed to just work, work, work. <sighs> wow. I guess I'll be sitting on top of my jacket because I don't feel like looking for a blanket. I probably don't even have a blanket in here anymore. I know that noise is annoying. Let me go find somewhere to park. All right, I'm about to park. I guess I'll see you guys when I get to the beach. Hey y'all, so I'm walking to the beach now and I see a lot of people leaving. I saw police rushing over there, so I'm so worried that they're gonna close the park and I just paid to get in. Always anxious about something, but I still see people sitting down, so it should be cool. I got this jacket <laughs> that I'm gonna sit on, it's so ghetto. <laughs> but oh well, I'm still in time to enjoy myself. This was not on the menu for today. <laughs> or shall I say agenda. I love food, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'll see you guys once I get set up. I'm already looking for spots that don't have a lot of people. Yeah, to the left, to the left. I'm glad there's a pathway to the left so I don't have to walk through that hot sand. So I think this might be the only way that you can get in. Darn. I was trying to stay away from the people. But I think this is the entrance, so yeah. See how hot this sand is. It's not too bad. Not like El Salvador. I forgot my mask. I wasn't even thinking about no mask. I forgot my straw. And what else did I forget? My pen for my journal. I hope it's in my bag, but I probably left it in the house. I need to find me a little spot. Walking the green mile to find me a nice empty spot. on earth is that Ooh. it looks like an animal head oh my gosh I'm almost to a spot where there is nobody I don't want any dogs running around me so I'm looking for a spot I think I'm coming up close warning no swimming known hazards strong currents may occur that's fine I'll just stick my toes in but anyways lately I've been thinking about enjoying the journey to wherever I'm going and not so focused on the destination there are some treasures that come along each journey I guess taking the good with the bad I think I found me a nice little spot near the rocks. I'm about to go set up. I'm hungry, so yeah, this is perfect. Not bad for an unexpected day at the beach. I needed this as hard as I've been working and trying to figure out my life starting my life over for the umpteenth time I needed this I need to learn balance balance of giving myself a break yes so I'll be parking it right here got me some snacks my journal I'm good to go peace A little ladybug just came. Is it alive? Hi. Are you not alive? Wake up. Wow. Dead ladybug. Drinking my water and minding my business. Unexpected day at the beach. I am not mad. I work too hard not to enjoy myself. Much needed. Woosa. Hey y'all. <laughs> I'm finally set up. This feels so good. I do not give myself a chance to like 
breathe and sit down for a moment and enjoy myself like once I'm into work mode I'm just always working and I just feel so guilty for taking a break but you know balance is my word so yeah here I am I'm all set up I'm about to eat I'm just enjoying my time so thankful to steal this moment <laughs> My little snacky snacks is a shadow, so you can't really see, but I don't know. My feet is ashy. I don't even care. <laughs> I be working hard, y'all. I need a pedicure so bad. I might get one for my birthday. But yeah, I'm going to eat a little bit, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and explain everything that's going on in my life right now. I'm stuffing my face and letting these ashy white legs get some sun. <laughs> I could have put some lotion on my feet, but hey, it was gonna get sandy anyway. But let me get to the real story about my life update. I'm just enjoying this moment though. I really am. I needed this. I didn't know I would be here today, but I'm thankful for it. I've been working so hard. Starting my life over in the U.S. A lot of closed doors that I'm thankful for. Let me finish eating and then I'll come back. I done ate all my food almost in one. Saved that last little piece. <laughs> The hard times before I leave the beach later. Got some of my favorite candy. I'm just about to go reflect for a little bit. I promise I'll come right back and get to the story. I look crazy <laughs> all right so most people who watch my channel you know I'm sure probably knows that you know I went to Cambodia on Christmas 2019 I gave up my whole life here you know I had a place a nice job the car that I wanted and you know I was traveling here and there you know things wasn't too bad but I wanted more and you know I took that leap of faith I always beat myself up for not doing the things that I want to do, but that was one thing that, you know, I did do. And then the pandemic hit, and I basically went over there and, you know, worked hard, earned everything that I wanted over there. And then it was just snatched away from me. You know, I lost my job. And, you know, I had said I wasn't going to keep 
talking about this because I've talked about it a lot. But I'm just giving a quick backstory of how, you know, I'm where I'm at now. So, you know, I stayed over there as long as I could. I did not want to come back to the U.S. I never felt like I belonged here. I always dreamt and yearned and longed for, you know, moving abroad. And I finally did it and, you know, it was stripped away from me. So... I didn't know where to go because, you know, a lot of the travel restrictions was in place and countries were closed. And it was a very stressful time, but, you know, looking back, I stayed there for almost two years and most of the time I did not have a job there. So, you know, I'm thankful and, you know, sometimes I need to give myself a pat on the back or, you know, making it through the things that I do. I rarely give myself a pat on the back. So it came time for me to leave Cambodia. And I wound up getting a job. And then what happens? I lost the job the following month. <laughs> and I had a visa. So I just stuck it out, you know. I didn't want to waste my visa that I already had that was for, what, six months long. So I stayed there. And then, you know, I was trying to figure out where am I going to go once I leave Cambodia. So I finally left there. And I came back to the U.S. to, you know, visit my family and my friends. And try to figure my life out again. It got a little peopley <laughs> and I can't talk around people for some reason like you know recording so yeah so you know it was a tough situation you know I knew I was going to eventually come back to the U.S. because you know where would I go without a plan you know I lost everything and you know money was dwindling away it does not grow on trees and you know losing your job in the middle of a pandemic what do you do so yeah, it was hard to start over, but you know, I've started over what, this is my fourth time starting over within the past five years. I know I probably look crazy with the sun. There's another ladybug. That's my totem. Let me try to set this camera up so I don't have to hold it and look crazy in the sun. So yeah, I had to figure out what I was going to do, you know, coming back to the States. I didn't want to be here, but I felt like I had no choice. My visa ran out, so... <sighs> Trying to leave Cambodia was even stressful because the border shut down. I had a bus ticket. I had to go seven hours away to the other city just to get out of Cambodia because there was no flights that would get me out of Siem Reap. So I had already paid for my bus ticket and my flight and I was supposed to go to Egypt. So the borders got closed. I could not leave and my trip got messed up. So then I'm finally able to leave. I did not think it was going to work out. I feel like I'm rambling. I'm just giving a quick back, well, not a quick backstory, but a backstory of how I got to where I'm at now. So, I came back to the U.S., visited some of my friends and family, and then I booked another trip to go to Egypt. Traveling is just, you know, my biggest passion. So, you know, I'm traveling or whatever. Got to see Paris as well. I purposely picked the long lay over there. That's my new thing. Well, that's my thing. So then I come back to the U.S. and, you know, I really have to put on my thinking cap because I have to figure out what am I going to do with my life. I did not want to be stuck in the U.S., but I was not, you know, at the point where I could just leave again. I planned to leave for Cambodia. This just, you know, fell on me where, you know, I had to start all over again. So I decided to give in and get a job. And it was cool. I liked it. But then, you know, as more and more people started coming in, you know, I, I didn't like all the new people because I pretty much, you know, was one of the first ones who opened up the building. You know, they weren't even running until I started. And so, you know, it just becomes stressful being around people. It's about to get people-y. I lost my train of thought. It was getting a little people-y. Ugh. I might have to move, I don't know, but that would be too obvious. I just like to be by myself. But anyways, so, you know, a lot of people started working there that I did not like. And it just, it just wasn't enjoyable anymore. So, I started, you know, getting other jobs and trying to, you know, I guess, make a life here in the U.S. I was going to, you know, either buy a place or get an apartment or get an RV or try to find a way to move out of the US again. 
so I've been staying with a few friends here and there for a while. And anybody who knows me knows that I need my sanctuary. Like, my home is my sanctuary. If I don't have that, like, I can't function properly. And so, it gets to me, you know? But I've actually been reaching out to places to move, like, ever since the end of last year. So, it's not like I'm trying or I can't afford a place. It's just none of the people would get back to me. And... I feel like people are listening. But anyways, none of the people would get back to me. And like some of the places, I guess, you know, I just found out that they were not available. Like three different places. And then another place that would be a last resort, truly last resort. They said they have some available next month, but I'm trying to move before then. (sighs) Like, I don't know what to do. Like you know the ups and downs of life and i'm just playing with this sand this how everything got stripped away from me we work hard for it and this is what happens That's just how I feel. So crazy, right? Expressing myself. Artistic ways of thinking of things. I know I probably look so crazy. But anyways, I just feel like I'm rambling. I really have to figure my life out. Like, what am I doing? I don't know. I've been so stressed out. I need me a sanctuary. My home is my sanctuary. I cannot function properly if I don't have it. But, you know, I'm not going to take the blame for the situation that I'm in right now. I mean, I'm doing all I can. The places are just not available. So, like I said, when three doors closed that's just an answer I guess I'm learning to pay attention to the signs you know when something doesn't work out I guess something else better is in store but you know I'm so impatient I want what I want when I want it I mean who don't I don't know I might come back and ramble some more I'm going to try to enjoy this beach and maybe some more of my snacks. I think I'm about to edit this video. It's been a while since I've edited. It's been, what, over a month now? I think after I went to Jollibee, I didn't post after that. Went to El Salvador, then I finally got to try out Jollibee and have not posted since then. I didn't know if I would post anymore, especially like you know after christmas and i got done with vlogmas yeah but i don't know like i'll be wondering like is traveling really an accomplishment so even that gets to me even if i am able to travel and i'm happy traveling will i be happy then i don't know i guess you know my purpose in life will come to me once you do the things that you love your purpose will come to you that came to me you know that thought I don't even know if I'll post this I probably look so crazy (laughs) I've been so stressed out lately trying to figure my life out and working so much just to make sure I have enough and I want to move but I don't know where to go. Oh, one of my friends from Cambodia just wrote me. I met her on Koh Rong Island on my birthday. Or was it the day before my birthday or the day of my birthday? I don't know, but Koh Rong Island in Cambodia, I met her. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> I was thinking about her recently and started to write her because I hadn't heard from her in a while. But anyways, I don't know what it is about lighthouses. They've been coming to me today. 
Let's look at the view. I don't know what kind of plane that is. Can you even see it? Why can't you see it? I don't know. Speedboat going by. And that lighthouse sitting over there. And I forgot to mention that I've been working so many jobs since I've been here. I'm trying to throw my trash away. It's getting cold out here. It's time to leave. But yeah, I've been working so many jobs since I've been here. I think I had maybe four jobs since I've been back in the U.S. Working at the same time. Crazy, I know, right? But I had to do what I had to do. I'm doing what I have to do. But yeah, I guess I'll do another life update video once I figure some things out. I got a lot of changes coming in my life. So yeah. Let me edit this video and see what it turns out to be. If there's anything worth sharing. All of the people are gone over here. I love it. Nice and quiet. <laughs> All right, y'all, I think I've done enough relaxing. I know nobody's probably still watching, but anyways, I would like to close out the video. If you made it this far, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to support the channel. Bye.